Friday, March 31st. I let go of self-pity. Life eventually brings change, challenges, and difficulties, losses of loved ones, homes, jobs, relationships, or finances. An accident, natural disaster, or medical diagnosis can mean physical and emotional pain or life changes. While spirit's great gifts are always flowing for our resilience and capacity to heal, how we do that depends on the story we tell ourselves about the situation. The temptation to fall into self-pity is one we all face. Feeling sorry for ourselves, convinced we somehow deserve better, brings resentment, blame, or hopelessness. But we can change our thoughts and, with them, the stories that keep us stuck in emotional wounds long after events have passed. They do not serve us or our loved ones. Dr. Wayne Dyer, famously said, change the way you look at things and the things you look at will change. Releasing self-pity changes everything, opening our hearts to gratitude and our lives to divine possibilities. Scripture Reading Are any among you suffering? They should pray. Are any cheerful? They should sing songs of praise, James 5 verse 13. Rev. Leslie Miller Affirm Today I release self-pity by changing the stories I tell about my life.